Good day viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. This is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Also, click the notification bell to receive daily news updates locally and internationally. Relatives say Latoya was murdered by the police. Relatives of Latoya Monte, the 34-year-old woman who was fatally shot during an alleged confrontation with the police moments after 6 p.m. on Monday in the Kingston 10 area, are insisting that she was murdered contrary to information released by the constabulary. The police, in a tersely worded statement issued yesterday, said Monte of Maxfield Avenue in Kingston was fatally shot during a confrontation with the police at about 6.50 p.m. on Monday, June 29, in East Bloomsbury Road, Kingston 10. The statement said a chrome and black Luger CZ-75B pistol with eight 9mm rounds was seized during the incident. The police said the matter had been reported to the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, and the Inspectorate and Professional Standards Oversight Bureau of the Constabulary. Distressed relatives of the deceased woman, whom they yesterday described as a nice, normal, young, single woman who was enjoying her life and would not harm a fly, said the police were concealing what truly took place and have accused them of being secretive and reluctant to answer their queries or speak with them. They said the shocking news of the death of the cherished sister and daughter came to them in the dead of night hours after it took place. One of the deceased's brother, Kevin Monte, said that when I went to identify the body last night, I was told by the police sergeant that there was an altercation between my sister and a taxi driver on Hagley Park Road. The passenger in her vehicle was a male. The passenger, they said, pulled a gun on the taxi driver. The taxi driver drove away, made a phone call to the police that someone pulled a gun on him and gave them the license plate and Rary. Monte recounted. So the police drove through the area of Richmond Park and Hagley Park and in the evening park them buck up the vehicle, pull over the driver and them say she back a gun pan them and them shoot her and kill her. Them claim said them have the gun, he said. He said however, he was later told that his sister had exited her vehicle and that at the time of the fatal incident she was alone. The male wasn't there, she was alone there in the evening. They are saying she pulled a gun on them. Me need to see the police report, he said. According to Monte, it took some time before the police informed the family of Latoya's death. She's my younger sister. Nobody knows yet what happened, and we're trying to speak to the police, but they keep telling us they will call us back and nothing. My mom is distressed. It is her only daughter. She has enough sons, but that's her only daughter. The story we are getting sounds like murder to us said another brother, Leon. My sister was a British citizen with a Jamaican father. She lived here and in Jamaica for the past three years. She was a nice, normal girl and she was shot and killed by the police in Jamaica. And that doesn't make sense to us here, he said. Meanwhile, Indicom, in a statement issued to the media late yesterday afternoon, said the allegations are that the deceased was to be the subject of a personal search and she requested privacy for that search to be conducted, which was agreed. During that search, it is reported that the deceased produced a firearm which resulted in the shooting incident. A chrome and black 9mm Luger was allegedly recovered from the scene. Indicom has appealed to people who may have witnessed the incident to contact its offices and provide any information, including photos or video footage that they may have. It said people with information about the incident are being asked to call Indicom at 876-968-8875, 876-968-1932, or message the agency on WhatsApp at 876-553-5555. It is further said the officers involved will be required to provide statements to the commission and attend its offices for interviews. The service weapons and the alleged recovered firearm were processed, boxed and sealed for testing at the government's laboratory. The commission also said it will continue to inform the family on the investigative process and provide updates as necessary. This is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like and to share. Also leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you.